Hi friends, MD Vegan, breakfast time. I have several variations of breakfasts. They can be light and they can be filling and heavy. Depends. Recently I made a breakfast similar to this one. It kept a whole day. I literally did not need to eat a whole day after that. It was really a big portion. You can see it online already. Wonderful. With strawberries and banana milk. And the strawberry a banana milk smoothie is the base for many of my breakfast in this category. And the banana milk I make usually with a nut and the bananas and the fruit. Banana milk is, you can also make banana milk only with bananas. It's very super light. Just bananas, you might add some water, it's enough. And I add some nuts here, like these soaked wal uh, almonds. Not, not precisely nuts, but in kitchen we use them as if not they are berries. <laughs> Honestly, who would have thought that? But well, it's a it's a known fact in biology. This uh, we call it we call it the berries, but it's nuts. It's kind of nuts. They're high in fat and these kind of things. A little bit of protein, lots of fiber, so we can call it nuts. In the kitchen. So if you combine these, they have a wonderful creaminess in the banana. Uh, it's very nice to combine bananas with, with nuts or seeds. And that is the base of the banana milk here. And refinement for the flavor is uh, here I have some frozen strawberries. And yeah, yeah, I know, you know, um, strawberries or other berries, um, they can be always mm, stored, frozen in the freezer. They are available all through the year very inexpensive and yes they are more a little bit more cooling we know that from the Chinese um, cooking tradition they have these knowledge from the elements yeah. um, they say it's frozen not so good to eat because it's cooling you down but well um, it's a little bit of knowledge I'm sure I, I know it's there is some truth to it I know but I don't take it so so to the to the literally yeah, I adapt to my own um, to my own experience and to my own knowledge. Nuts, for example, are warming. Yeah, and um, these kind of things can balance it. But it is true; it's a little bit of cooling. Um, but so when I combine, that's why frozen has a little bit of downside effect. But it doesn't really matter. You can use it if you are not too uh, sensitive to it. And for me, um, the the flavor and the deliciousness and the healthiness of the strawberry is so much in the foreground so I would always have some frozen fruit in the freezer and they're so inexpensive and the nutrients yeah that's what counts most for me health wise not talking about the flavor only but health wise the nutrients are most important that's the energy we take in and the fruit and the, the fruit that's the, that's the nutrients mostly this energy is very high in its frozen form because um, the nutrients the um, would waste yeah, if you keep a fruit or a, um, or a vegetable outside in the um, taken out from the garden from the plant and put it into the kitchen it will lose the nutrients will go down for, for uh, more and more the longer you store it but when you freeze it the fruits the nutrients they are reserved preserved so in the frozen products you have this advantage yeah and they can even be higher in nutrients than from fresh fruit from the field because uh, usually from the fro in the frozen pro freezing process they take it directly from the fruit into the fruit uh, from the from the field into the freezer so the nutrients are very high all the time and they go down only, only a little bit but that's a, a, a very uh, advantage of frozen fruit so you ha there's always a balance there's always a both sides so I then take it ever too uh, literal what they say um, in these kind of um, knowledgeable people um, to me um, baseline is frozen food is a wonderful uh, improvement an improvement of, of, of our culture and um, I always have them at home so here nuts bananas and strawberries that's uh, me and I will take some water and um, that's not for the texture so much it can be a little bit more liquid that's okay a little more runny but it's mostly for the blender 
if the blender has a little bit of water, then it can start pulling the fruit down very easy and quick. Otherwise, I lose some time, maybe five seconds or so it takes, or ten, until everything begins for you to blend. Now you will see it blends immediately. The blender blends. <laughs> strawberries have been frozen so um, if I blend it a little bit longer it's warmer and it depends how you like it it depends it doesn't really matter ah the texture is so nice fragrance is from the strawberries so nice and one word more to the flavors yeah mm. almonds and strawberries together they are somebody somehow combining into a little vanilla flavor so uh, vanilla fits very nice with almonds and with strawberries, both, but um, there is already this kind of vanilla flavor between to combining almonds and strawberries. So it's a perfect combination to combine strawberries and almonds to me. And another thing is, but first I taste it. Just talking about flavor, I will taste it right now. Mm. So delicious. Very nice, very nice. There are so many more variations you could make just using nuts or seeds for this. For example, just to mention one. If you soak the almonds, put them into the freezer, uh, in the, into the fridge, and you wait for some days, they will begin to ferment. So if you then blend them, ferment it, then you have a kind of yogurt or kefir. Just without doing anything else. It's so easy. So many options then take, it will, um, taste a little bit more sour. It has probiotic, probiotics in it, and it's also very healthy. And you can adapt so many, do so many variations with these easy kinds of recipes. So what I do now is I put this smoothie, this banana milk smoothie, into my Latin bowl here. This is my breakfast bowl. See how nice it looks. Mm, it's a nice color from the strawberries. It's so wonderful. Another subject would be the colors, mainly of the fruit. They are called. Um, um, phytochemicals, phytochemicals, uh, the phytochemicals are hundred thousands probably in different fruits and the colors are only one expression of them. There are many other expressions and they are uh, derived from, from the vitamins. The vitamins as their counterpart are vital, that's why they're called vitamins. You need them, we need them to survive, and most of the people, if you are not living on, on, on air or something, most of the people really need vitamins to survive. And um, the phytochemicals are also very important for life, but not needed. Yeah, the colors in the fruit, for example, they're supporting uh, good health, for example, the skin, the eyesight, yeah, the color, that you can see colors, or that you can have a good sleep and a calm sleep, you can get tired in time. So these kind of these kind of things, uh, the aging process, and these kind of things, there are hundred thousands of um, of benefits, health benefits from the phytochemicals. But they just only began to explore them. Same with the fiber. The fiber is only in fruit and plants, or other plants, in vegetables, not in meat and dairy. There is no fiber. Um, and the fibers are also very, very important. There seem to be fibers and different fibers in any kind of plant. So these fibers have all different health benefits and you only began to explore it, how they work. But they are so crucial, so vital to digest anything. Fibers are called prebiotics, not probiotics, as by fermentation. Prebiotics are not digestible. Not digestible, but, digestible, but they help um, the digestion so much. We need them. Fiber is crucial. So that's enough now for the health things. And now I put that into it to make it a little bit more um, filling. Uh, only today, only two fruit. I have again the strawberries here. There's some frozen ones. 
And once I put them into the uh, smoothie, they begin to thaw, and that's nice. Or I can eat them also a little bit of uh, frozen, that doesn't matter. And an apple here. It's very nice together. Um, apple and strawberry together. I love them. And also very inexpensive, since it's a very nice breakfast. I might combine it uh, with some um, other strawberries. I put them aside before I used everything here. And um, maybe some almonds. Some almonds, some chopped almonds to make it a little bit nicer. And here, this is my breakfast today. I will decorate a little bit. Okay, just here to say goodbye. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed my little excursion, explanation. I would like to have you on my YouTube channel, MD Vegan, if you like. If you, then you can have another video recipe every single day. And we can also see each other on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Hope to see you soon.